everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video and if you are new here I hope you will subscribe before you go so today's video is going to be part one of a five part series talking about secrets that cruise lines don't tell you this is something I found online and thought it was an interesting topic to go over so part one is food secrets so we're going to talk all about food secrets that they try to Keep from you on cruise lines if you're interested stay tuned all right so the first thing is unlimited food in the dining room this is pretty common knowledge but you'd be surprised how many people don't know that you are not limited to only one entree or one appetizer or one dessert you can actually order multiple you can order multiple multiples <laughs> um, so if there's something that you like or something you want to try but then you still want to try something else you can get two and test it out you can also actually get your appetizer like as a meal portion or you can get your meal as an appetizer portion. It's really all about you, what you want to try out. So if you want to try that creme brulee and that yucky lava cake, go for it. Why not have two desserts on vacation? The second secret is room service fees. Now most cruise lines do offer free room service and a lot of it is um, up to a certain time and some cruise lines have now adopted this policy where after a certain time like nine o'clock or ten o'clock at night they start having service charges maybe like five dollars or six dollars for room service and also some certain foods have a fee like all day like I know Carnival has chicken wings maybe and french fries or something like that but after a certain time, there's upcharges to get room service. So make sure you check your whatever your daily communication is to find out when the free room service stops. I know a lot of people from the different cruise groups of them and talk about how they will order something before the cutoff time. So then it's in their room for when they come back from a night of party and they got something in their cabin so that's something to think about next one is breakfast options now most people go to the Lido deck for breakfast or sea day brunch or sometimes the main dining room for breakfast some people get room service for breakfast but there's also other places that you can get breakfast options Norwegian has something called Oshihens Oshihens and you can get made to order omelets corned beef hash things like that on carnival a lot of the ships have the blue iguana cantina and you can get the breakfast burritos there royal caribbean has johnny rockets and they have alternative breakfast options i'm guessing it might be a fee for that i'm not sure you might want to check that out before you decide to go there the next one is first night perks i know with carnival if you make a reservation at their steakhouse on the first night you get a free bottle of wine and you can actually take that bottle of wine with you if you don't finish it. And like Celebrity, if you book their specialty dining on the first night, you can get a discount off your total. So definitely check your cruise line's website before you sail to see what options they have, to see what specialty restaurants they have, and see if any of those have any um, perks or discounts if you go on the first night. The next food secret is free treats at the coffee shop a lot of the cruise lines now have uh, you know sort of like a specialty coffee spot on board and you do have to pay for the coffee and certain desserts but sometimes you can get cookies for free or sandwiches like deli sandwiches or different pastries you just have to ask a lot of them are in those little glass casings and a lot of people don't know that those are actually free one of the big attractions on cruises is the free ice cream you can get free soft serve ice cream on the Lido decks some cruise ships also have like hand dipped ice cream at the buffet somewhere I know now on Carnival Horizon and probably the Vista at lunchtime every day they had free gelati gelato ice cream they had different flavors every day and that was free number seven on the food secret list is embarkation day lunches most people get on board, head straight to Lido, and get their lunch somewhere on the buffet. But some cruise lines on specific ships actually have other places that you can get lunch. 
I do know with Carnival, if your ship has a pig and anchor, they offer free lunch there. You do have to pay for dinner, but if you go at lunchtime, they have things for free. Also, the Italian restaurant on Carnival offers free lunch options. They have free lunch options on Royal Caribbean at different restaurants like the Solarium, Giovanni's Table, their Starbucks has a lunch option. I'm sure you probably have to pay for that. Sorrento's, their Park Cafe. Princess has the International Cafe, the Pizzeria and the Grill. So always, when you get on board, if you, you know, look around before you decide on where you want to eat or maybe ask a crew member, is there anything else open for lunch? I'm, I'm sure they will be happy to tell you. The last tip for food cruise secrets is a menu sneak peek. So this is, you know, down at the dining room where you'll be having your dinner. You could go the day of, sometime in the afternoon, and they actually have the menu posted for that day. So you can see what's on the menu, just in case you might want to try to eat somewhere else. Or if you want to uh, go, like, to the service desk, you can ask them to let you see the menu for the whole week. Especially if you want to make a reservation at a specialty restaurant. It's nice to know which day you want to go because if they're having your favorite lobster on Wednesday, then you don't want to book the steakhouse on Wednesday, you know, so it's a good option to do that. And a bonus tip would be for vegans or vegetarians or people who have food allergies to definitely like go check with the maitre d' or someone at the service desk to see the menu or to plan a special menu for you because they will try to accommodate you if you can't have something or if you need other options as far as veganism or if you're vegetarian so there you have it eight food secrets that sometimes the cruise lines don't even let you know about check back tomorrow to see part two of secrets the cruise lines don't tell you we're going to be talking all about drink secrets Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.